guys, welcome back to my channel. I am here again with Chad, and whenever Chad is with me, we're talking about what? Smell good stuff. Smell good stuff. Perfume. And some and some stuff that doesn't smell good. And some well, on occasion. This on occasion, but this video we've already sorted through the stuff you don't think smells good, and we picked out yeah. your favorites, right? Okay. Because we were in a hurry, right? Well, no, we, we have a lot going on. Yeah, but, but I we just... fit this in because you guys were important. Okay. We filtered through the stuff that he didn't like so much, and we are going to be talking about, I want to say, I, I wanted to to upload this kind of close to Valentine's Day. We don't ever do anything for Valentine's Day. Yeah, we do. No, we don't. I do stuff for you all the time. <laughs> we never really have. And I think that, it's okay, if you don't do stuff for Valentine's Day, it's okay if you do. It's okay if you go out with your friends. So what I thought I would do in the spirit of Valentine's Day is put together some date night scents. So what I did, I picked out two scents that are my favorite to wear when we go out to dinner or go out. Then I picked out two of my favorites of his, my absolute favorite. And then Twisted Lily sent over some samples of ones that they thought that we would like. And so we're gonna go over three in each the female and male slash unisex category that we like. All right, so you wanna start with the, the girls yeah. samples? Mm -hmm. All right, let's talk about, and I don't have, these are just samples. I don't have the bottles. Chad picked out three of his favorites from the samples. Two of them are my favorites, and one of them I'm probably going to be getting a full size of. Okay. So the first one is this one by Juliet Has a Gun, and it is called Sunny Side Up, which makes me think of eggs. And it's in a cute little, it's a white and yellow bottle. It is like eggs. It looks like eggs, yeah, the bottle, and it might, reminds me of eggs, but it's more of like a summertime, sunny side up type perfume. It's got coconut and vanilla, sandalwood, and I feel, I don't know if all of Juliet Has a Gun perfumes have the ISOE super note, but a lot of them do, and this one does too. ISO what do you think e. about that? ISOE. It's a ISOE super. It's like a molecule, a synthetic molecule. Wow. Oh, yeah. I like it. I'm, it was I'll... his least favorite of the three. I like this. I get coconut and sandalwood in this is what I get the most. It's very, very summertime appropriate. Yeah, like I don't yeah. know that I, I would- I feel like something added could be, something could be added to it like to, what? to enhance it. I don't know the notes and all that good stuff, but some, it needs a pop of something. It need, it I needs, think it's got a good pop. I think it needs a little extra, little, little poppage. This is my one, this is my second favorite from Juliet Has a Gun. My first favorite, you'll love this name. Hmm. Mm. That's mm. the name. M M M M M. -M. Boy, I wonder who they paid to come up with that. <laughs> they're, they're in a board meeting. Genius. They're being. They're in a board meeting saying, "What do you? What should we call this?" Mm, it's great awesome. idea. Mm, is it? Mm. See, I mean, sometimes yeah. it doesn't have to be complex. I like this. It, again, very spring summer appropriate. So I, I could see like taking this on vacation. So this next one is right here. This is from Juice Box. And this is technically unisex. All of these could, could be unisex. My favorite. This was that, good. That's this, your favorite? Yeah. Okay. This is probably my least favorite. Oh, wow. <laughs> Isn't wow. it funny? I don't dislike it, but it is a very green perfume. It's like, um, it's got fig leaf in it. It's got pine needles. I can smell the pine needles. And coconut. That might be why you like it. I see coconut in there. Watermelon, too. cardamom, which is one of my very, it's in my top five notes. But I smell pine. And maybe a little bit of coconut. See, I'm like an outdoors guy. Maybe I'm, yeah, I'm, I think I'm that's just, why. But I don't. I do he smell likes pine. it. It's not bad. It's just not one that I would. It's my favorite. Really gravitate toward. Like, they describe this as green, ozonic, aquatic, fresh. That's probably why it's not my favorite because typically those aren't the kind of scents that I go for. But they are the scents that he goes for, which is why he loves it so much. Yeah. Not bad at all. Um, Juice Box is a brand that I want to get. Uh, it's a house I want to get more into because see, look. I'll put oh, I'll put a picture. I thought it was like juice box, like no, like, like, like a juice kids, box, like our kids. Drink. No, <laughs> yeah. See how it has the record? All the tops are like a, a vinyl record. Oh, yeah. It's okay. all about music and oh, and scent. So I'm not not like jukebox. No, and not like a Capri Sun, yeah. but like a J U S B O X juice okay. box. Okay. Okay. Let's go to the next one, and this is the last one of the samples that he picked. This one is by Amouage, and it is Sunshine Woman. And this one is my, hands down, my favorite and one that I will be getting a full size of. This one is, oh, so good. He, look, Chad. Okay, this has almond, black currant, 
osmanthus, vanilla. Keep smelling it. You're going to like I it even smell more. It. White tobacco. It has it juniper has in it, which I do not like juniper, but for some reason it works in this. And there's something about this. I mean, I've been wearing it the past like three or four nights and you haven't said you don't like it. It's so good. There's something about it that reminds me of my childhood. There's something nostalgic about it. Maybe it's like vanilla ice cream. Let's see vanilla in there. That doesn't mean ice cream. Vanilla ice. How about that? Yeah. Ice, ice, baby. Ice, ice, baby. This Stop. is... Collaborate in sunshine. Is that sunshine? This is a spring and summer perfume, I feel like. It's like... Oh, it's it's more gourmand to me because I think the black currant and the almond. All right, now let's talk about the two that I um, chose. And I'm I, we have another video coming probably next month about his favorite scents on me. And so I didn't want to pick out a ton from that video because I don't want to spoil anything. But I picked out two that I like to wear when I go out or I'll take traveling with me. And this is one of them. He hasn't smelled these yet. I mean, Don't he I? smelled them, but you haven't smelled them today. Now, have I smelled this in the, in the past? Yes. I did. Do I like it? You told me you did. Yeah. You don't now? <laughs> this, okay. is, this is why you can't trust wait, anything wait, no, he says. No, no, no. Let, let me put this next to the feel and chill. He loves the feel and chill. It's just green it's, is I, not I, my cup of tea. I just like that. Okay, this is Love Tube Rose, okay? It is a white floral. It's also by Amouage, but it is, it's one of the less offensive Tube Rose scents that if you say, oh, I can't stand Tube Rose, I know I don't like that. I still think you should try this because it has whipped cream as a note, and I feel like you can smell that. It is a sweeter, creamier version of a Tube Rose scent. It's floral. It's pretty. I feel like it's a pretty scent. I don't have a ton of what I would say is like super, super uber feminine or pretty because I really like the spicy kind of heavier scents, but this one is one that I do enjoy in that pretty realm. It does have gardenia in it too, which is a white floral sandalwood and cedar on the, and I, I sprayed this a while ago, so it's already had a chance to dry down. So I can actually smell some sandalwood, some woody elements, no? I mean, so it's... It's okay. Yeah. All right, well, I know for a fact that you love this one. Yes. And the reason I didn't show the bottle on the Love Tube Rose is because I only have a decant. But this one I have the bottle of. So go ahead and smell that one. I like this one. Uh-huh. This is BDK Passoir. I think this might be in that video that we already filmed, but I can't remember. This is a fruity, little bit of a spicy, has some white floral in it, but it's not its not near as white floral as Love Tube Rose. To me, it's more fruity than anything. Yeah, it's, like I a, like it much a better sweet, than... sweet fruity, which is like your jam mm -hmm. if it, with yeah. pine needles, yeah. <laughs> apparently. I wear yeah. this a lot if we go out to dinner or go out and do something because I know he likes it. It's got I a do fun, choose. It's got like a fun type, like you're it does. out. And it, it reminds me of summery. Yeah, uh, a summer, yeah. Like I mean, I could wear this all year, but I do think it shines more in the spring and summer for sure. And it's one that doesn't look like it's got a huge dent in it, but for the amount of perfumes that I have, when you have that much gone from it, you know that I love it and use it a lot. All right, you want to talk about the the manly, manly men smells? Yeah. All right, so we picked out the three top samples. And what do we do? You want to, when you want to start with the first one? Um, yeah, I forget which one I chose. I don't think this was it, but this is one. That's not bad though. I like I like it. This is also from Amouage and it's called Reflection Man. And it is a woody, also white floral, because it has a lot of jasmine in it, which mm -hmm. you probably wouldn't be able to pick out jasmine, but other people It has rosemary and pink pepper on the top. That's not the one we're talking about. I, I, know, I, know. I was trying to smell it again. <laughs> He's getting ahead of himself. Uh Neroli, Jasmine, Oris Root, Sandalwood. Vetiver, cedar, and patchouli. Yeah, I like that. I think this is why this is my favorite one out of all of them because it's got that patchouli note in it. I don't know. If, I'm not sure if I smell patchouli, but I, don't, I can't even remember what patchouli smells like, right? But I've heard it before because we've smelled it before. <laughs> yes. I have a lot of patchouli Maybe fragrances because it's, it's my favorite. Looking at. I don't even know what orris root is. It is um, the root of an iris. Really? Yeah. Yeah, I like that one. It's nice, isn't it? Mm -hmm. And Amouage, it, they just make such good fragrances. This good job, sm Amwatch. This smells like Chad to me. Good job, Amwatch. All right. Go ahead. Since you were so excited about... Oh. Well, I know what this one smells like. Is it Oud? <laughs> Just Oud. Oud. Oudred. Oudred. I believe what I... I believe what I smell is... If you've watched Last Kingdom, you know mm, what this is. Oud leather. Do you smell <laughs> what I smell? It smells pretty good. This is by Montal, mm. and it is Oud leather. 
You should go out and try to buy some. You would like it. This is definitely a leather scent. Yeah, I like it. Scent. Mm -hmm. Like, if you do not like leather, don't even think about so, it. So, I went to TSC, Tractor Supply Company, and I bought pumpkin pie, candle scents. Yeah, it was candles, a pumpkin pie scent candle. And leather, yep. which is that, that's like leather. And tobacco. And tobacco. Yeah. And so, I, I, I kind of, I... It just takes me back to... This smells like walking in a barn to me. Yeah, I don't know, like barn, with all the saddles um, and the... There's a place she and I, we've gone to before and they make a leather belt, leather anything. Yeah, and like I a just, leather shop or something mm -hmm. you walk in. That's what it smells like, I just which I like love. That. And I'm a hands-on guy, you know, yeah. so I like to use my hands and, and I'm just... You know, so that that takes me like... I don't know. I, I don't know. This might be my, one of my favorites too. That and the the Amwash. I really like this. It's got doesn't have much in it according to Fragrantica. Leather, oud, saffron. I think a girl could wear this for sure. Bergamot. I do too. Cardamom, mm -hmm. ambergris, and pepper. Yeah. And what you should do, let's say you bought a new leather purse and you want people to kind of notice it. You spray that purse down and yourself and like you smell leather, like No, but to yeah. to to be fair, yeah, it does yeah. smell like a leather, a leather purse. purse. Like a brand new I mean, leather purse. Yes. A new leather purse, yep. Or a wallet. I can smell the okay. saffron and yeah, a wallet. The saffron too is like it gives a little bit of a bright, a brightness, like a little bit more of a pop on the edge of the of the leather and the oh yeah, the cardamom. Yeah, the more I smell this, the more I really really like that. So maybe now, we'll get you that. I bet their next scent will be Aloud Pleather. Aloud. Oud. Is it oud? Oud Pleather. The next one probably. Oh, does, yeah. does Pleather have have a scent? I mean, I don't have any pleather things, so I don't know. I probably do. I'll have to research that. Do you know what pleather is? Yes, it's I know what pleather, pleather is. <laughs> I love how he's like, can I teach you something? Do you know what pleather is? <laughs> it's fake leather. I do know what pleather is. Why are you Thank making you. fun of me? <laughs> <laughs> All right, the next one. This is a house that I don't think I've ever talked about on my channel before. I have no idea how to pronounce this. This is by Eight and Bob. And it's Nuit de, de, or de Megevi. M-E-G-E-V-E. What about Megev? Megev, maybe. Yeah, Magev. maybe. And this is... I like it. An aromatic, woody, earthy, warm, spicy scent. So it has grapefruit and cloves and tonka bean and orris and coffee. I'm going to spray it again because all these... I really like this one. All these notes should say I mean, that, that one I me, love it. Just like if you're a man... It does smell good. I mean, I mean if you're just like a... Mm, you're a man... It would be really good. If you're just a man, it wouldn't be good? No, I'm your man. <laughs> <laughs> but honestly. Manly man. Oh, what, was that show? what was it? Manly man. Wasn't it, uh, it was three a... men? Or um, the two guys and the boy. Manly man. Oh, uh, what was that show? Um, Charlie Sheen. Yeah, Charlie and, Sheen. And, uh, uh, Ashton Kutcher? No, no, no. Ashton, ah. Ashton Kutcher took Charlie Sheen. That's Charlie, right. That's right. Charlie Sheen. Charlie Sheen. Charlie Sheen. Charlie Sheen. <laughs> Charlie Sheen. Charlie Sheen. <laughs> <laughs> two two men, two men and a no, it's two men and a baby was a movie, right? That was three men and a baby. Three men. This was two men and a and a boy. Okay, maybe? okay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know my word, I can't, y'all. <laughs> what is it called in the notes? No, I'm gonna look it up. Put it on the screen. All right. Okay. Anyways, <laughs> Tonka bean. Look, there's that orris root again. Mm, nice orris. Coffee, vetiver, mm. tobacco, and musk. I mean, really, these are all except for the grapefruit. I don't. I'm not a citrus person, but all, other than that, these are all notes that I really love. Two and a half men. And I do that. Two and a half men. Yeah, Good yeah, job. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. so, wow. I don't know which ones. Okay, I do. I think still the oud leather is my no, favorite. No, this one. Now. That one. That's my favorite because it's just it. something about it. The Megev. And this it's hard, one, isn't it? No, no, okay. no. This one's pretty. If you're a guy. They don't know what that one is. <laughs> the the uh, one we're talking about, the McGev. Yeah. My my favorite's the oud leather. Really? Yeah. I like it. I do I like it. At first, I thought it was a reflection man, which I still really like, but no, oud leather wins for McGev me. McGev for me is pretty good. I mean, I, I do like, like, I like, I like all three all. of them. I do like all three. But. Well, and finally, to round out this video, I am going to show you my top two favorite scents of all time on a man, on Chad. Whenever he's, he has, I mean, his collection's growing. I like how, I like how she clarified I mean, <laughs> that on a man. <laughs> on chat. On chat. His, his collection is growing. How many scents do you say you have? I don't know, because you put, you had new ones. I know, I do. I'm like, there. I sneak in new ones. 
I mean, was, I would say probably like eight or nine now. Or more than that. Okay. Well, there well, you go. We, if you're counting the, counting the little... No, not the little samples. Okay, just okay, like full yeah, size. Yeah, I guess eight or nine. So whenever he wears... I like I like them all. But whenever he wears these two, I'm like, oh my goodness. Which one did you just spray? No, Is I walk around the house and I get tackled. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, Can't yeah. you just see mm -hmm. me tackling him? Okay. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about the first one. You've heard about both of these, but I just can't talk about them enough. This is from Zerzhoff, the JTC collection. And this is Commandante. Can you say that? Look, there's such good dents in these. I'm so proud of you. I was thinking you meant like dents in the bottle earlier. No. I was trying to look in the bottle. I'm like, I do not see any dents in that bottle. No, meaning how much you've used. Oh, I, gotta get, I gotta get you on your um, fragrance lingo. No, no, right? I, you wanna I hold that? So I, I don't know why someone couldn't say it. You used a lot and said there's Stop. dents in, the, in that. Yeah, I like that one. Well, yeah, I know you, I wear, like <laughs> you wear it. Mm -hmm. This is a sweet, woody, honey, vanilla scent. It's got some, it's got way more than this says, but it's fruity notes, floral notes, tobacco, honey, vanilla, cedar, leather, spicy notes, patchouli, and labdamum. Yeah. I smell a sweet, honey, tobacco with a little bit of patchouli. What do you smell? I'm not good at that. I mean, I just smell, I like it. I know I like it. Do you it. feel like it's sweet? Do you feel like it's... Maybe a Tiny bit sweet oh, with like a, it's got a, it's got a, um, it's sweet, yeah, but it's got a punch of like, not a punch even really, it's just got a nice, smells really good. It smells very good. It's yeah. hard, it's, it's hard, it is hard to explain it, but if you like tobacco, if you like honey, if you like patchouli in the background, it's not, this, not the, the I would raining be a, star. I would be amazed if there were anyone who did not like that. Yeah. Is I do feel like for a Zerzhoff, this is pretty mass appealing. This one, hands down, must, must, I would wear that. Well, what I like about it too is the top here, it's like a little scratcher. <laughs> if you <laughs> see that little pointy thing right there, see uh, that? Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. Can you, how do you look at him with the putting the hand up? Because well, our faces you have to get it. really, really close up. Can you see that? How do you, our faces okay, hold on, it. stop moving, stop get moving. really close up, put your hand. <laughs> Okay, and give it two seconds. I don't think it's gonna work. No, it's gonna work if I do it, watch. You gotta have the touch. See? See that, turn it sideways. See that pointy thing right there? It's great, <laughs> it's, it's great. You can see that you can, pointy thing right there? You can like, like pick little things out with it. Let's look, oh, uh, that's disgusting. Pressure. Oh my goodness, okay. All right, love that one. Mm -hmm. This one is. Oh yes. My favorite. Mm -hmm. This is, I actually bought it for me because I got the Discovery set and I bought it and it somehow ended up in his collection of fragrances. I love it so much. I made a little sample set for my brother last year and had him pick out his favorite. This was his favorite. So we got it for him for Christmas. Yeah. Michael Malul London Jet Black Platinum. Oh my goodness. I could bathe in this stuff. It's one of my favorite scents of all time. Yeah, I was at the gym here uh, like two weeks ago and this girl came up. You're a liar. <laughs> and hugged me. She wouldn't quit smelling my neck. I was like, what are you doing? She's like, I'm just smelling that. You smell like Jack Black. Jet Black. Oh, Jet Black. <laughs> Jack, <laughs> Jack Black. <laughs> Like, is that a good thing? I guess, he, like Jack Black? I guess he works it too. What movie was he in? Jet, I... Wasn't he, he was a, wasn't he like a conquistador, one of those wrestlers with a... Oh, he was in Jumanji. Or, Jumanji, yeah, Jumanji. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I said, you mean like The Rock? She said, no, no, Jack Black. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, this is... What do you, I mean, what do you smell when you smell this? This is a sweet, spicy... Mm, I smell like lavender, toffee, cinnamon, <laughs> amber, his... suede, and suede, <laughs> suede, and vanilla. I don't smell lavender in this. I do not like no, lavender. I don't really so smell I don't smell that. But it does have spicy notes, toffee, cinnamon, amber, suede, and vanilla. And I smell... Mm -hmm. Let me just smell it some more. I, I mean, it, it's so even much. got some, some note. It like, it, it smells almost... I like, smell like, I smell toffee and cinnamon. Yeah, it's, I it's, do, but I feel like I'm almost like in a, not a forest, but it's got a... Some kind of fresh note to you, or not fresh, Almost but like, like a lumberjack -y, outside -y note to you. Kind of like a lumberjack type. I don't, I mean, not, I mean that in a good way. It's awesome. A lumberjack? I can't explain it. What are you smelling there? Oh, well, <laughs> I meant, <laughs> I mean, it's not funny. So. <laughs> <laughs> Quit. I'm serious here. Serious. <laughs> All right, what does it smell like? Oh my goodness, that smells so good. It smells good. I don't, I don't, I don't, man, I don't know how to, how to say it. 
Michael, Michael, Malul Michael Malul did, did, a, did a pretty good job. I mean, and I got the discovery set, a couple discovery sets. Um, when I smelled this, I instantly went to the site and ordered the full bottle because there is little that you are going to find that smells as good as this. It is a little bit of a heavier scent, but you wore it in like spring and summer and stuff, didn't you? Oh yeah, I wore it yeah. all the time. It didn't, I it, it wasn't too cloying. It wasn't overwhelming, but oh, it was so good. <laughs> it was good. All right, guys. See you later. <laughs> no. Okay. That was it. I will have everything listed and linked down in the, in the description box below. I do have a 10% code with Twisted Lily. It works on samples and full bottles. And I'll have that down below as well. Let me know your favorite date night scent on you or your partner, what your favorites are down in the comment section below. Mm -hmm. Be sure and like and subscribe before you leave so you don't miss out on any future videos. And- Have an amazing day. You guys are awesome. Hope you have a blessed day. You are awesome. Let me know if you want to see Chad back again. We love you. Bye. You're, you rock. <laughs>